Why, why, why? There's certain situations when it comes to certain dramas, like things that I've covered on my channel. It's the exact same as yesterday. Yesterday, on my video, I was talking about how, why is it whenever that there's stupid drama and people being absolute idiots on the internet, it comes down to like a certain group where I made that video on Aiden Ross and Neon and Jack Doherty and KSI. And I'm like, why is it that whenever I'm covering some stupid ass drama, somehow Neon, Jack Doherty, Aiden Ross, some of them or any other people, they just like that. They just seem to like always gravitate towards stupid drama. Why is it that whenever I, I see that someone is being accused of sexual assault, why the fuck is it? That they happen to be a Minecraft YouTuber. What the hell is wrong these days? What is wrong with majority of the Minecraft YouTubers that happen to have that, that happen to be around these days? I don't fucking understand. And they're all they're all linked. They're all somehow linked. At one point in the time, they were somehow linked to the Dream SMP server. I mean, that to, at that at this point, ninety percent of the content creators that were on the Dream SMP server are like pedophiles or just a, a, a sexual assaulters in one way or another, whether it's towards a minor or towards someone who's close to being a minor. George not found. He has now been supposedly exposed for sexually assaulting a girl. So this all started up where this girl who, she goes by the name Katie Bugs. So her name is Katie and then her um, Twitch name is Katie Bugs. She made this tweet out about as you can see, it's 10 hours ago of me recording this. By the time this gets uploaded, it'll probably be uh, almost like 24 hours by the time I'm, I upload this video. But she said that she's going to be telling her story on Twitch. And what story you might be asking? Well, I'm going to show the video now. And just be warned that this video itself, it can be quite traumatizing. So if you yourself get triggered very easily from hearing things about sexual assault or anything like that, anything close to it, I recommend skipping ahead or just not watching this video altogether. I want to start this by saying I wouldn't be here without Shelby. I was ready to disappear with this secret forever. I never knew that creators were allowed to talk about these kinds of things, and I guess I'm still new to it all. I just didn't feel brave enough, and I still don't. But her strength made me feel like it may be okay. A little while ago, my story had almost been leaked without me knowing. So here it is on my terms. Here is my story. Last year, at the beginning of summer, I was assaulted by a significantly older and popular content creator. I was freshly 18 and had just graduated high school a few weeks prior. I remember a moment around October where I made a comment about a certain group abusing power over minors in their DMs saying they had minors in their DMs. It was an absent-minded comment, and I apologized for it, of course. It was a possible subconscious jab out of my own personal resentment. My comments filled with people saying that I didn't care about grooming victims and that I thought assault was a joke. And I remember sitting there, reading the comments, scrolling over and over again, heart beating faster. Over half of the comments had him as their profile picture. <laughs> I just wanted to die. I was embarrassed of myself and I was angry and I wondered if I could ever find peace. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, that is a pretty, pretty tough video to watch. And I'm going to pop up her tweet again because I didn't go through the second half of it just because I wanted to, like, get that video out. She wanted to make it very clear is that although she was inspired by Shelby, now, if you don't know who Shelby is, I made a video about that where she said that her ex-boyfriend, her now ex-boyfriend, Wilbur Suit, um, was an abuser towards her. She wanted to make it very clear that she was inspired to come out um, from Shelby that Shelby like made her feel comfortable like with Shelby coming out about her story about how Wilbur You know was um, an abuser towards her with the whole biting situation And you know just it, it got like a little bit worse than that But she wanted to make it clear that it was not the exact same person you might be saying Donnie Well, how the fuck is do you know that it's George not found because she does not directly mention that it's George not found No, she does not mention that directly She just mentions and I saw this is how I originally found out about it is that I saw this tweet 
on Twitter. So she was claiming that when she was 18, I'm not exactly sure how old she is now. I might pop it up to the screen just for a little bit of reference. But she's saying that she was assaulted by an older YouTuber. And surprise, if you don't know this, actually, Wilbur, uh, George Not Found is actually a lot older than I thought, to be honest. And a lot of people were accusing him of doing that. So the community and i'm guessing some of her friends i have to i, I as is what i'm guessing it is were the ones who were accusing george not found of being the one that assaulted her and after all this started to come out and after after people started accusing george not found of being the one who assaulted this woman he made a tweet and of course, I mean, if someone comes out and accuses you, what are you going to do? You're always going to play innocent. You, ha you have to. You, you have to, you know, you, you're going to, most of the time, you're going to defend you. Unless, unless there's like rock hard evidence, like definite 100% evidence where it's just like your fucked kind of evidence. <laughs> Then, of course, you're going to come out and say that you're innocent. So, he made this tweet right here and saying that he'll be doing a very serious stream later today. And that he's gathering all information and evidence to share. And that he's saying that he would never, ever break someone's sexual boundaries. At the point of me recording this video, at least right now, he posted this at 11.25 a.m. Right now, of me recording this video, it is 5 p.m. So, hopefully, I'm not going to finish editing this video yet. I might have to cut myself in in here and then say like, hey guys, he's finally up, he's finally streamed and he finally said something. But at this point in time, it has now been almost six hours since he, uh, he since he put this post up and he still has not gone live. I've checked his Twitter, I've checked his Twitch. The last time that he went live was 13 days ago. Now, obviously, when it comes to allegations like this, allegations like this are extremely so fucking serious. Extremely serious. And obviously, when it comes to stuff like this, you need hard evidence to show that something like this actually, like, happened. And a lot of the times, it is hard to just get, like, actual video evidence or photos to show that, like, hey, like, look, this actually happened. Like, something like this actually happened. But a lot of the times, yeah, I like to give the benefit of the doubt to the victim. You know, I, I never want to necessarily dismiss a victim's story because, you know, that that can be a, a really bad. But we also have to put into account and also have to think that there has been a lot of times, at least in recent times, where a lot of people have come out and said like, hey, this happened to me, but it turned out to fucking be a lie. But I don't want to be on either side of it. I, I definitely don't want to just go ahead and say like, this 100% fucking happened. You know, it may seem like I, like I have said that, but no, no, I don't want to make it out like, yes, this 100% happened. But at the same time, I don't want to make it out and say like, Yep, George not found is 100% innocent. I will stick in the middle and I will say, listen, I believe this girl at this point in time. I hope that she's actually doing well. If this did happen to her, I feel extremely bad for her and I hope that she gets every single help that she can. But at the same time, I will say, George not found, you have some time to prove yourself innocent. If this stream does come out, by the time that, like, before I can, like, go to upload this video and, you know, you see me cut this video and he comes out with some solid evidence proving his innocence, then he has time to prove his innocence. But there's also been people that are saying that are friends of Katie who were saying that they were actually there and they witnessed some of this stuff going on. There was this person right here who retweeted um, George Not Found's tweet claiming, you know, saying that when she was 18 and that apparently she was heavily intoxicated at the time and George is the one who took advantage of her when she was heavily intoxicated, even though he said, what if they were drunk and don't know what they're doing? about men harassing women in the past. He said that on the Fear and Podcast. There's also other people who replied to George Not Found's tweet as, as well, kind of shitting on him, calling him a piece of shit, who are supposedly friends of Katie's. I'm not 100% sure if, if they are, but I did see this screenshot of like these three tweets that were like going, uh, that were replies of George Not Found's tweet that were kind of going around and supposedly saying that like these are some of Katie's friends who are backing her up. And then there's this also this long text message as well, which is basically stating about like the events that went on at this convention and how, you know, the action of Katie being assaulted by George Not Found happened. So if you're seeing this part of the video, it means George Not Found has not actually responded yet and there has not been a Twitch stream. Like I said, it is now 5 p.m. in the afternoon. My videos get uploaded 3 a.m. local time for me, but I go to bed at like 12, 12 o'clock. But I like to have my videos uploaded at a decent uh, before I go to bed. So we will have to see. I will I will definitely give this a little bit of time before I like fully edit this video. I will edit most of it. But I, I want to see his response. I want to have to hear what this man has to say. 
But at the same time, I will give this girl the benefit of the doubt. I will say that, you know what, she there's a big possibility that she is telling the truth. And if she is telling the truth, because I one thing that I hate more than someone getting assaulted, I hate seeing someone's, you know, being sexually assaulted, it's it's a horrible thing to have to happen to someone. And I hope that if it is true that she is getting all the help that she can at this point in time. But if there's one thing I hate is when someone comes out and lying about stuff like this, which is why I like to give the victim the benefit of the doubt. I like to, you know, like I said, I like to give the victim the benefit of the doubt and hope that she's, you know, not lying and just making shit like this up. You know, in her video, you know, you can see it. She, she looked extremely distraught by the things that she was saying. And a lot of people always say is that like, hey, Donnie, this happened like last year. That doesn't matter, man. It, it can, it, it is very hard for someone to come out and talk about situations like this. I myself have dealt with terrible situations with the relationships in the past. I've dealt with, you know, an abusive ex-girlfriend in the past. And it took me years, years, till I could even talk to a psychologist about shit that happened. So it's not fucking easy to come out and talk about stuff that happened. It's it's not easy. So I'll give her the benefit of the doubt, but at the same time, I am waiting for George Not Found stream to happen and for to see what that man said. If this part of the video gets played and he's still on, then he hasn't said shit right now, and that's not looking good for him. But let me know what you guys think about this down below. Do you believe her? Do you know? Do you don't believe her? You, you're like me. You're just like waiting to hear more about this story. That's just what I'm doing. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. But I also want to see more. I want to hear what he has to say, and I want to see if there's any more evidence that comes out from her side as well. But that's it for me. Peace out.